The time jump function allows you to manipulate in-game time, affecting both offline games and local timers in online games. It can speed up processes like crop growth, building construction, energy regeneration, and other time-based mechanics. The function takes a time parameter, which must be a string, formatted in the English locale. This means using colons to separate time units and periods for fractional seconds. If your game is set to another locale, you may need to switch it to English for proper functionality. The return value of the function is true when the time jump is successful. However, if an error occurs, it returns a string containing the error message instead of true. This allows you to check if the function executed correctly or if something went wrong. You can specify time in days, hours, minutes, seconds, and even fractions of a second. In this example, it jumps two days, six hours, and 30 minutes forward. The script checks if the jump was successful and shows a success message. If there is an error, it displays the error message returned by the function. To differentiate values in the string, even if they are the same, we rely on the order of the input. The first value is always days, the second is hours, the third is minutes, and the fourth is seconds. The function follows this strict order, so the position of the value determines its meaning. To skip the day value and only specify hours and minutes, or other units, simply omit the day value from the string. The function will automatically interpret the remaining values as hours, minutes, and seconds based on their position. The time jump function in Game Guardian acts similarly to a global function, affecting global game time. It manipulates the in game delta time, which is the elapsed time or game world time. This means that it does not just affect one specific object or task, it advances the entire game's clock by the specified time. Both speed hacks and the time jump function manipulate the passage of time in a game, but they do so in different ways. A speed hack alters the overall game speed by changing the rate at which time passes. It makes everything in the game run faster or slower. For example, actions, animations, and events all speed up or slow down in sync. It affects all aspects of the game in real time. Time jump jumps the game forward by a specified amount of time, like simulating days, hours, minutes, or seconds passing instantly. It does not change the game's real-time speed but simply advances the game's internal clock by the amount you specify. It also affects the entire game world, such as crop growth, building construction, or event timers, but it simulates the passage of time rather than speeding it up. In this scenario, one day, 12 hours, and 15 minutes are specified based on the order of values in the string pass to time jump. The format follows the order, first value, days, second value, hours, and third value, minutes. When the input only has two values, the function automatically assumes the first value is for hours and the second value is for minutes. The function automatically interprets the input based on the number of values provided. One value, treated as seconds. Two values, treated as hours and minutes. Three values, treated as days, hours, and minutes. Four or more values, treated as days, hours, minutes, and seconds, if fractional seconds are used. In this example, the function interprets the values based on their order and size. The first value, 3, is treated as hours because it is less than 24. The second value, 12, represents minutes, and the third value, 9, is for seconds. Since the first value is less than 24, it is treated as hours, not days. If the first value were greater than 24, it would be considered as days.
In this case, the input represents 3,600 seconds and 0.5 seconds. The function interprets the number before the decimal point, 3,600, as seconds, which is exactly one hour, since there are 3,600 seconds in an hour. The number after the decimal point, 0.5, is treated as fractional seconds. So the function jumps one hour and 0.5 seconds ahead. In the last example, the input represents 1 minute and 20 seconds. The function treats the first value, 1, as minutes and the second value, 20, as seconds. So, the game jumps forward by 1 minute and 20 seconds. The time jump function is a powerful tool for manipulating in-game time by simulating the passage of time. It allows for precise control over time, whether you want to jump forward by specific days, hours, minutes, or even fractional seconds. This can be useful in games where time-based mechanics play a key role. By providing flexible input formats, it gives you the ability to simulate various scenarios and events efficiently, making it an important function for controlling game progression.